Welcome back. Yes, you're not going to believe it, folks. The phones have been running hot here at Channel 31. Papa Lewis was on the phone. And Papa, sorry, I do apologise. We forgot to mention the magnificent game up at the Ring Road Recreation Reserve. The Bell Post Hill Panthers. There you go, Papa. The Panthers defeated the Belmont Lions. Absolutely caned them. And, of course, Andrew Venner kicking a lazy five goals we alluded to at the start of the show. Um, what do you think of that game, uh, Dale? That was not a bad win by the Panthers to start off. No, it's always nice to have a start uh, with a win during the uh, course of the year, Dick. But uh, I suppose with Murphy kicking seven for Belmont Lions too, it's not a bad start to the season. They'll be a lot better side when they go home. And I think if they can win you know, the majority of their games at home and just sneak those two or three wins away, they're going to be right in contention this year and they're one of the sides I would expect to improve again after a pretty uh, pretty ordinary season last year. Hamie Williams didn't play in the weekend. Uh, Tate's back in the side. Uh, Forbes is in the side, you know, coming across from Thompson and had a year off after getting a knee done, I think. So they've got the... Uh, Key posts now all sorted out. They've just got to get other players around them uh, performing pretty well, and I think it'll be uh, a pretty good season. The Robbie May story is a bit of an interesting one. Uh, I believe he uh, injured his knee. I'm not too sure how bad that's going to be, Dick, so uh, mm. that could uh, come out in the next couple of weeks. I know when I did my knee, it was the end of my football career, I can tell you. <laughs> but actually, these days, I just do both leagues. Must be something I'm carrying around. I've got no idea what it is. But, folks, it's time again, and uh, you've been waiting all of summer for this. You've missed out, and all the ladies get out there, and they put the kettle on, get the weedies out. Because once again, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, it's time for Dale's Under-18 segment, and here's Dale. Thank you very much again, Dick. Uh, as you know, people, I've got my glasses off because I can read it better than the small print I've got here. But uh, <laughs> some interesting results to start off the season. The uh, four prominent sides from last year, North Geelong, Werribee, uh, Bannockburn and uh, Bell Post Hill had some interesting start, uh, start to the season. North Geelong were successful over Invalie. They kicked uh, 13 goals, 8 to 8 goals, 5. Kenyon and Kingwell, 3. McClickney, or McClickney? McClinchy. McClinchy, sorry. Mm -hmm. Kicked 2 for North Geelong. And for Inverley, Alford, 4. Best players for North Geelong, Kingwell, Short and Rickett. And for Inverley, Simonick, Brown and Hill. So uh, a good start there. And Inverley not blown away in that game. Werribee Centrals got over East Geelong by... 10 points, and this time last year that would probably have been a 10 to 15 goal win to the Werribee side. So, again, not going along as well as they probably could have been. Their major goal kicker was De Campy for the Werribee Central side, and out at East Geelong, Irwin got two along with Lekas. Best players for Werribee, Wilson, Mitow, and Blade, and for Geelong, uh, sorry, for East Geelong. Bowman, Ververs and Nolan. Now, Ververs was one of their better players last year, so obviously uh, starting the season well again. Another big surprise here, or not a big surprise, but Belmont Lions have recruited pretty well, and uh, they kicked 12 goals, 7. They beated Bell Post Hill, 8 goals, 5. I believe Bell Post Hill started with only about 14 or 15 players in the game, so I'm not too sure. I haven't had that confirmed yet, but uh, obviously someone will let me know in the next couple of weeks what's going on there. But Savikas uh, kicked 3, Anderson 2, and Shea was another goal kicker at Bell Post Hill. Uh, Isaacs and Mowat were both uh, leading goal kickers with three best players for the Lions Shea, Jolly and Hunt and for the Bell Post Hill side Sulix, Martinu and Mowat was uh, good players out there and we, Bannockburn, travelled out to Corio and uh, I suppose their, their uh, start to the season Corio had heard over the pre-season that they'd uh, got a lot of players actually coming to training and speaking to Nevada Cornwall before the game he was really excited about their season coming ahead. And I suppose for a coach's point of view, to have, have a side that will chase and uh, work hard when they haven't got the ball and do all the right things in football, it was a just reserved for their uh, their good win of 10 goals, 9.69 to the Bannockburn side, 2 goals, 7. Scott kicked 4. McKenzie was a, a goal kicker with 2. And for the Bannockburn side, Padani got the only 2. So good start there for Cryer. Best players, Larison, who actually uh, fronted up and played in the senior side. Scott and Gruby was another one that was in their best players, and he also fronted up for their senior side. O'Brien, a new kid to the uh, Bannockburn side, was their best player, along with Lamate and Tully. So uh, an interesting start to the season, Dick, and it's good to see that some of these senior sides are now putting a bit more time into their kids and getting some numbers around, because I think they realise they're going to be their best recruits coming forward. So... Um, an interesting and even year looks like it's going to be happening. Well, that'll be fantastic. Thanks very much, Dale. Yes, of course, Dale's under-18 segment will be back again next week and we'll have some more footy to talk about there in the under-18 section. Now, as we alluded to, there's certainly no footy on this afternoon. I'm going to get the boys' opinion as to what they think about the fact that we have a holiday at this time of the year, particularly when Round 1 has been uh, completed last week and then we now have a holiday. No footy in Geelong as far as GDFL goes and then, of course, we have to wait till next week. Dale, um, your thoughts on that? Uh, is it a good thing to have a break uh, after one round? No. 
Thank you very much. Don't, you... don't think so. And as I said, it's just uh, it's it's nice to get into the season and have two or three <clears> weeks running before you look for a, for a spell. I think, and even then, I don't think it's uh, necessary if there's no end of league. Um, it's nice maybe to break the season up. It does give sides a, a chance to freshen up. But to have one game or have nothing on this weekend uh, seems to be a little bit ridiculous. I know the GFL have only got one game on uh, with Newton now playing, and I think they play Gravedale or Lara. It is um, so. It, it's something for someone to go and watch. And as I said. Uh, as much as Good Friday is a, is a day that we, you know, there's not a lot of things on around the, in the town of sport, it would have been nice to see something on a Saturday or a Sunday to uh, get a local gathering around and have a Geelong team play so you can actually go and watch the footy. So I'm against it. Uh, I would have liked to have seen last week be a buy and started this week on a Saturday and, you know, people do go away, but uh, look, it's a fact of life now, Dick. I suppose that when footy comes around, I like to get into it and get it running. Absolutely, Jason. I, I know uh, from other years you've interviewed the coaches. It's something the coaches also they're a bit split on this, but most of the coaches don't like that uh, interruption after getting away finally in round one. No, I know the winning coaches are love to play this week and the losing coaches probably <laughs> like the week off but <laughs> I know in, in past years it's always been a difficulty with the draw with Easter the way it is but I, I think nowadays um, as Dale said and alluded to that you just yeah, it's a fact of life you, you play footy I think that if you ask the clubs they would be a majority that they would like a, a break in the middle of the year or closer to the middle of the year that's when they're going to have some injury concerns when blokes need a bit of a rest but um, you know one week and then a rest it is difficult because then you really you know you're playing You've got two weeks to, to get blokes back up again. And, you know, if they've had a good game, then they're, they're sort of waiting and they're just training. And, and they've had enough a big enough pre-season now to be ready. So mm-hmm. it, it's um, I would say that most of them would be disappointed. Jake, you come from the, down the Golden Valley League, the, the home of the sale make pies. Yeah, West Gippsland, the Trobe. West Gippsland, the Trobe. Get it right. Golden Valley. Golden Valley, that's the, the other side of the side. Turn, isn't it? <laughs> and you row are the, the other make pies, you row. Um, do they have a break at Easter time as well? Um, I'm actually not sure, but Fair I'm, I'm going to go for the traditional stand here and say, nah, no footy over the Easter weekend. Um, I think they should just start. There's, yeah, there's no need for them to start last week. Maybe sh- they should just start again, you know, next week after the break. One round just seems silly, but I'm yeah going to take the traditional stance and say no footy on the Easter weekend. Yeah, well, it does give us uh, us old blokes a chance to get away with the bride and that sort of thing. But uh, I must admit, I was looking forward to. You're still uh, married. I am still married, actually. Rosemary's still my wife, too. Um, we're looking forward to uh, going away for a weekend, but it, I still would have loved to have seen footy being played. We're going to take another very short break, but when we come back after this break, we're going to talk about some of the uh, other clubs and what's going on with them and the chances that we think that they may have this year and maybe even get a prediction for the Whitley medalist at such an early stage if we're silly enough. Back after this. The operators from all around your life.